to Jesus Christ, everyone. I hope you all are having a blessed day. For those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, I'm Jason Orthodox, a 23-year-old Orthodox Christian who would love to educate people on my faith. My channel has been growing rapidly in the last couple of weeks. Glory to God, I just hit 700 subscribers. May God grant you many years for all your support. So, if you've been getting into the Orthodox Christian faith, you may have noticed that throughout the year, your Orthodox Church hosts various feasts throughout the year. These can be hard to keep track of for those who are new to the faith, and even harder to know what they mean. Hmm, don't you wish there was this great video that would explain all the feasts of the Orthodox Church? Well, here you go. So basically, there are 12 great feasts in the Orthodox Church. Well, actually, there's also Pascha too. But Jason, you say, what's Pascha? Well buddy, let me tell you. Pascha is the celebration of the resurrection of Christ. But Pascha isn't counted among the 12 great feasts as it's considered to be a feast of feast of sorts. Since Pascha is the celebration of the resurrection, and the resurrection is the most important part of Christianity, it should come as no surprise that Pascha is the most important feast of them all. This is why we consider Pascha a feast of feasts. God came to redeem the world by taking on the flesh, and he conquered death, bringing salvation to the world. Also, just for your information, the word Pascha means Easter, but the Orthodox Church does not celebrate Easter at the same day as Western Christians do. By Western Christians, I mean Catholics and Protestants. This is because Western Christians changed the date of Easter, while Orthodox Christians have maintained the original date. In case you're interested, this is how we calculate Pascha in the Orthodox Church. So there's Pascha, the Feast of Feasts, and there's also 12 great feasts in the Orthodox Church. Of the 12 great feasts, 7 of them are held in honor of Jesus Christ, while 5 of them are held in honor of the Theotokos. The word Theotokos refers to Jesus' mother Mary, by the way. Understood? Fantastic! Also, for your information, I'm using the Orthodox calendar which starts on September 1st, rather than the civil calendar that starts on January 1st. So, without further ado, let's begin! The first feast on the Orthodox calendar is the Nativity of the Theotokos, which is held on the 8th of September in honor of the birth of Mary. This feast is held in honor of the birth of the Virgin Mary to her parents, Joachim and Anna. After the Nativity of the Theotokos, you'll only have to wait six days for the next feast in the Orthodox Church, the Exaltation of the Cross, which is held on the 14th of September and commemorates the finding of the true cross. You see, in the 4th century, St. Helena, the mother of the Roman Emperor Constantine, went to the Holy Land to search for the relics of the true cross, the cross that Jesus was crucified on. Needless to say, she found the cross. Several months after the exaltation of the cross, the next feast is the feast for the entrance of the Theotokos to the temple. This feast is held on the 25th of November in commemoration of Mary joining the temple. You see, Mary had actually joined the temple when she was a little girl. This is how she was able to achieve perfect theosis and remain sinless throughout her entire life making her the only person worthy of carrying Jesus. While you'd have to wait a month for the next feast, it'll be well worth it, since this feast is one you'll know well. As you probably already know, the Nativity is held on December 25th, in commemoration for the birth of Christ. That's right everyone, you can have yourself a holly jolly time on the feast of the Nativity of Christ, which is better known as Christmas. And no, Orthodox Christmas is not celebrated on January 7th as many believe. You see, there are two calendars, the old calendar and the new calendar. Most Orthodox Christians use the new calendar, while some Orthodox Christians use the old calendar. Both celebrate Christmas on December 25th, but on different calendars. For the old calendar folks, December 25th on their calendar would be January 7th on our calendar. 
Also, keep in mind that this is only for the minority of Orthodox Christians that use the old calendar. Not long after the Feast of the Nativity is the Feast of the Epiphany, which is also known as the Feast of the Theophany. This feast is held on the 6th of January and is commemorating the baptism of Jesus Christ. At the baptism, Jesus was baptized by this dude called John the Baptist. During the baptism, the Holy Trinity was made manifest. The Orthodox Church referred to the baptism in terms of manifestation because during the baptism of Christ, the Holy Trinity was made manifest, since the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit were all present when John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ. You see, the word epiphany means manifestation, while the word theophany means manifestation of God. This is why the Feast of the Epiphany is also called the Feast of the Theophany. The two words are interchangeable. The next feast in the Orthodox Church is the Presentation of Christ to the Temple. This feast is held on the 2nd of February and is commemorating the time that Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Temple. You see, it was customary for the Jewish people to present their firstborn son to the Temple. Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the temple 40 days after he was born in accordance with their customs. Well, you'll have to wait a month and a half for the next feast in the Orthodox Church. You'll get to celebrate the Annunciation of the Theotokos. This feast is held on the 25th of March and is commemorating the conception of Jesus. What happened was that the Archangel Gabriel told Mary that she was pregnant with Jesus, saying, Greetings, O good one, the Lord is with you. This is important because it was the time that our Lord and Savior was conceived. Sometime after the Annunciation, the next feast in the Orthodox Church is Palm Sunday. This feast is held one week before Great and Holy Pascha and is in commemoration of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. You see, shortly before the Passover, our Lord Jesus Christ made a triumphal entry into Jerusalem. When he entered Jerusalem, people gathered to meet Jesus, chanting, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. The next feast after Palm Sunday in the Orthodox Church is the Feast of the Ascension, which takes place 40 days after Pascha. This feast is celebrating the time when Jesus ascended into heaven. Ten days after the Feast of the Ascension is Holy Pentecost. This feast celebrates the Day of Pentecost. At the Day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended upon the Apostles. This feast is important because it commemorates the founding of the Church. After Holy Pentecost, the next feast of the Orthodox Church is the Feast of the Transfiguration, which takes place on the 6th of August and is held in honor of the Transfiguration of Christ. The Feast of the Transfiguration is held in commemoration of the Holy Transfiguration described in the Bible. What happened was that Jesus went up onto a mountain with several of his disciples and was transfigured while on the mountain. The last feast on the Orthodox calendar is the Dormitian of the Theotokos, which takes place on the 15th of August and commemorates the death of Mary. This feast commemorates the death of Jesus' mother Mary. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I just wanted to let you all know that this video is part of a new series called Orthodoxy Explained, where I teach the Orthodox faith through short, fun, and entertaining videos just like this one. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next episode. Also guys, don't forget to go to an Orthodox church. You can find an Orthodox church near you on this website, orthodoxyinamerica.org. The link to it will be in the description below. I hope to see you all in the next video. I'm Jason Orthodox. Peace!